is one of them off-limit class. Place has been overrun with snakes since, but I've heard there's a woman. Whatever for? Why would I know? It's my last time I was in the area. And I, she was. I mean, she was human up top, but her face was a weird cup. A snake woman. Even worse. Looked like you couldn't swing a cat's without hitting a snake. You should have a stiff drink and get some sleep. I'll tell Benwick to give you an... Wow. Uh, thanks a <laughs> I ought to pester him for some of that... Welcome back. Yeah. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking... You're not a dog. I was... Uh... Then you've got nothing to worry about. Are you okay, Eva? Oh, sure. No, I mean... <sighs> fine. They can come aboard. We have to take good care of Orthy and Russ. That's on you. They won't let me near. Ah... Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? You only killed their master. Don't worry. I'll take responsibility. You mustn't! They're quite vicious, you know! I just asked them if they wanted to be friends, and they suddenly bit me! I'm sure you said something to irritate them, like, I'll make you my minions! You had it coming. She... she knows! But you have Therians to find, Lafayette. You won't be able to look after them all the time. I suppose... What should I do? You could ask Kamoana and Medissa. Kamoana said she once had a dog. Even if they get a little rowdy, Medissa will be around to keep them safe. That's a good idea! I'll go ask them. Thanks. We can't be killing off Therians. Besides, they remind me of Nico. Velvet. You want a pet dog, Luffy said? You should go to the Abbey then. Why the Abbey? Because the place is full of the Shepherd's lap dogs. <laughs> get it? Lap dogs! Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing. <laughs> Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time, so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? But, I don't care that he got scared. I just wanted him to live. That's why I... Have to... Velvet! I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have... Vengeance. Velvet! Done. The art is attuned to you. Thank you. This time I'll make sure to finish what I set out to do. I've gotta say, I didn't think you had it in you, Oscar. I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Lord Artorius! Go back outside, Teresa. We'll see you when we're done. Are the rumors true? Are you using that experimental art on Oscar? It is true. Oh, 
I was under the impression it was still incomplete, sir. Yep. There's still a potentially fatal weakness for its channeler. We've taken the theory as far as it will go. The next step is to learn its control and actual practice. Don't tell me you intend to test it against that Therian! Please, let me do it. I should be the one, not him! You are not strong enough. Th then at least let me back him up! So you can take the enemy out before Oscar uses the art? A noble plan, but I'm afraid it'd mess everything up. How so? It was my idea to volunteer, sister. I failed at Titania and allow the Therian to be stolen from Palamedes. I need to atone for my mistakes. Then let me come with you. I have different orders for you. Teresa Linares, you are hereby relieved of your duties as an exorcist and are to return your monarch. Relieved of duty? Why? For our plans to be realized, we require an especially strong monarch. We've analyzed your Moloch's dormant abilities, and he is of considerable power, on the same level as the young Moloch who betrayed us for the enemy. Simply put, you just don't got what it takes to handle him, sweetheart. When this is all over, I'd love to have some of your homemade cooking again, sister. I could go for that quiche you used to make. How can you talk of that right now? Lord Artorius. I know what you're going to ask. Yes, Oscar, when you fulfill your mission, I will make Teresa an exorcist again. Oscar? Are you doing this for... Don't worry about me. I'd go to the ends of the earth and back for a plate of your delicious quiche. What should I do? If I don't do something, he'll... Huh? What's this? I'm... receptive? To that art? And to you? Where am I? Take it easy, Velvet. You've been out for three days. Then that's three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamawana's taken a real shine to them. All right, then. Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought... since you hadn't either. Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malachim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. All right, if you're sure. 
If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. Huh. <sighs> Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true. Food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder? Time for some grub, Lafayette. What are you hungry for? Hmm. I'll have some stuffed giant squid. Or prison crab dumplings. Or sea snake bowl. It's your first meal in three days, right? Better stick with something mild or you'll be sorry. How about a risotto or a vegetable rice soup? That could be nice. I could go for some borscht or shark fin and egg soup. For dessert, I'll have a sweet bean and jelly fruit cup, a giant parfait, and a triple berry cake. Zip it, Mogilu. Oh well, I'm getting full just thinking about it. I think I'd like some rice porridge with a pickled plum and baby sardines on top. Ooh, an austere choice. And an apple. In that case, you should have some apple boo. Apple boo? What on earth is that? It's just grated apples. But when my brother wasn't feeling well, I often fed it to him. I think I'd like to try some. If you insist, I'll make some for you. At least it's something I can make without needing to taste it. Okay, I insist. Okay. If you're already making some, I'd like... Zip it, Mogilu! I haven't seen many Abbey Patrol sh- I noticed that too. The Blood Wings said the Apparently, some bad demons and a cursed pirate crew have been giving them trouble. And they can't spare the men to patrol the outer- That's Eifried's pirates for you. A cursed pirate crew? Isn't that up? <laughs> Reason dictates that we of- Ooh, Shepard are- <laughs> If only our enemies were truly that dumb. Sadly- I. I We've got the First Mate's curse to deal with. Yeah, with that Reaper's curse hanging over. Well, at least they're not. Okay, Fee. I need you to find us our next Earth Pulse point. I found one, but it's really, really far. Way up in the northeast. Hmm. If it's that far out, it has to be an Engand. Engand is a collection of small islands. There's a comparatively bigger one called Lionel Island, but that's the exception. Yeah, I think the Earth Pulse points probably out there. Engand, huh? Those waters are haunted by ghost ships, you know. Ghost ships? Yep. Legend has it they snatch up wrongdoers who bear lingering regrets and whisk them away to that eternal voyage. That doesn't sound promising. Currents from all over the world converge in Engen's waters, so a lot of shipwrecks from distant seas end up there as their final resting place. Uh-huh. Ah. So that's where the stories of ghost ships come from. Boo. You guys have no imagination. I'd rather they stay imaginary myself. We should still be careful. We'll be fine. Ghost ship, exorcist, whatever comes along. We'll be the ones to administer their last rites. Just one Therian to go. When I escaped, Ceres told me that Artorias could still be killed. That means she must have known everything. That Enominot is incomplete. How Therians work. But why did she betray Artorias? Why did she give me her strength? 
I know that try as you might, some fires can never fully be extinguished. But what made you go so far as to feed yourself to me? Tell me, why did you do it, sis? Oh, what am I saying? Ceres was a Moloch. Just a Moloch. Just focus on what has to be done. Once the Therians are all together, I can end this. That's all that matters. That's all I need to think about. Oh, come on! It's fine! No, it's not. You're so mean, Medissa! If you keep telling me what to do... Fine. Hate me then. So long as you do... Fine! Oh, I love you, Medissa! Uh... Eleanor! Medissa's being mean! She keeps telling me to dry my hair after my bath, but I don't want... What? Is that... This is important. Just because she's a Therian doesn't mean she... But I won't! I won't! I don't want to take Mom's yucky, awful medicine! If you insist on being so stubborn, we can do this the hard way. There's no need for everyone to get so worked up. Her hair's... Yeah! What she said! <sighs> I'm spoiling her, aren't I? Seriously. Look, we don't even know what would happen if Etherian catches a cold, let alone how to treat it. That's true. <sighs> but look, I get it. I know you feel responsible for her. You mean, what happened to her mother? Yeah. Lafayette said told me about it. My, my! Look who's a little tattletale! I'm sorry. But I thought Medissa should know. Just in case. It's fine, I suppose. I should have told her myself. Well, at least I understand everything now. It's all too tragic for words. Yes. And the knowledge would not be something that a young child could possibly bear. I'm not planning on telling her. That's probably your only option. But do you really think you can keep lying to her forever? I have to. For her own sake. For her, huh? All right. I'll go with you on this. You two are going through an awful lot of trouble for a selfish kid. All kids are selfish. They're selfish. But that's what their families and their mothers should be there for. Don't you have any memories like that yourself? Sorry, but I'd rather just keep them to myself. Pish and Piffle. Everybody and their issues, am I right? You better be ready.
Close one, but I am the victor. Thank you. 